the narrative they were saying about me was like, oh, you must hate kids, which was also really infuriating because I have been working with children abroad in tons of countries, and I obviously don't hate kids. One lawsuit against Tim Ballard and the nonprofit he founded has been dismissed. I'm Fox 13 investigative reporter Adam Herpetz. We interviewed Suzanne Whitehead, the plaintiff, earlier this year. She's worked with human trafficking victims on and off for 14 years. She filed her lawsuit against Operation Underground Railroad last November, accusing the group of inflicting emotional distress. She says it started when she criticized the organization, arguing they're creating more of a demand for human trafficking in the countries they visit. You can show up on your million dollar jet and then go ask around in a bar and say, hey, I want a bunch of 12 year old girls. And if those guys think that they're gonna get a ton of money from you, they're gonna find you some 12 year old girls, whether they've been trafficked or not. She also says the group got angry when she claimed OUR was trying to raise money with the story of a young girl at the shelter she partnered with in Nepal. The shelter says the girl was never trafficked, never rescued, and had nothing to do with OUR. My name was tied to things that weren't true. I love this girl that they had just lied about. It was her name and like parts of her story, but then it had been like sexed up with all this extra stuff and it was just so bizarre. She said OUR intimidated her years later when she brought up the case with calls and on social media. But the judge said even if everything in her lawsuit was true, it still would not rise to the level of outrageous or intolerable conduct, especially because she wasn't threatened with violence, sexual harassment, or other vile conduct. The judge is allowing Whitehead to amend her lawsuit to include more details about Ballard, but the case against OUR was dismissed with prejudice. An attorney for Ballard called it a brief social media dispute and not grounds for a lawsuit. Reporting in studio, Adam Herpetz, Fox 13 News, Utah.